Afternoon guys, so this is just a quick setup of what I'm doing to the car this evening, ready to make sure that it's one, preheated at five o'clock tomorrow morning when I'm due to leave for the 450 mile journey, and two, to make sure that it's just finished charging at that time as well, to make sure the battery has some heat in it, which means I won't lose as much range through the initial first stage of the journey before I have time to charge at Abingdon. So then, to do this, we go into the EV menu and we click on the battery percentage. And if you raise the AC, I will need to raise it up to 100%. I can see that it's gonna take five hours and 55 minutes to get it to 100%. Now, bear in mind, I'm gonna be preheating the battery as well. I'm gonna give it about six hours-ish just for any loss. Um, so I will set it so the car will be 100% charged and at the right temperature by five o'clock tomorrow morning. So we click on the charge management section and we click on the uh, bit for scheduled charging. And from this, I want the start time. I know it's gonna take roughly six hours and I'm leaving at five o'clock in the morning. So we want that set for 11 o'clock tonight. And I want it to stop at five o'clock. I'm gonna give it just an extra 10 minutes. So I'm gonna get mine to start at 10 to 11. There we go, that's that started. And also change the departure time for the preheat for I'm going to set it for 510 because you don't really need it. It seems to start the preheat too early for me. Um, you'll find it starts to preheat maybe 20 minutes before you're going to actually leave to try and get it right up to temperature. But sometimes it's just too much. So I'm just going to I'll set it for 10 past. I know for a while it's going to preheat for at least 10 minutes before and that should be plenty anyway. Um, we'll have that set on the days that we need to set for. And that's that done. And then we'll just go out, check the tyres, and then that'll be everything sorted. Top up wash fluid, and away we go, ready for tomorrow morning. So I'll catch you in the morning. Morning, guys. So it's now currently quarter to five. It's not too bad in the car. Um, it didn't get as low as what we thought last night. It's currently one degree, so hopefully this can be a good day to do this. Uh, current range is full battery at 260 miles. Um, we're all in the car, as you can hear Mary in the boot. Hello, honey bear. Hello, Sienna. Hello. You excited to go see Nanny and Grandma Bob? Yeah, I just got some sleep in there. I just want to get out. Okay, right then, so first stop is Abingdon. Yeah. And we'll see how we get on. If we need to stop before, then we need to stop before. Thank you, mate. Thank you, See you mate. soon.
escalated quickly, didn't it? We're now uh, gone from one degrees when we started to now down to minus seven. Um, we've just gone through the Cairngorm, so just now starting to head out towards the A9 itself. Um, but yeah, temperature has absolutely plummeted. Um, range is now down to 210 miles after 35 miles travelled, so we should still have enough to get to Abingdon as long as it doesn't drop anymore. Otherwise, we're going to have to have a bit of a rethink about where we're going to be actually stopping at the moment. So it's uh, it's nice and nice and warm in the car, like, but outside it's absolutely Baltic. Right then, that's us halfway through the battery, just about, we're at 51%, we've travelled 110 miles, and the car is saying we've got 122 left. The sun's just starting to come up now, there we go, we just clicked over to 50% of the battery. Um, so, it's going to be tight for Abingdon, but we're still kind of on target for it, if we're going to go there. Uh, the temperature's got a bit leery at times. We got down to as low as minus 10. <laughs> so, a little bit nippy outside. But, uh, we've managed to get 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour at the moment. Uh, and at the moment we're sat at minus 7. We're on the A9 currently doing 60 mile an hour. So we didn't make it to Abingdon. Um, the weather wasn't uh, really very good at all. Um, still at minus five at the moment. We've had to head to Lark Hall instead. Uh, we've done 193 miles and it says I've got 20 left. So realistically you haven't got any more than 200 of usable to give yourself a little bit of a buffer um, but here's what it is you can't do it about the weather can you so dog's happy sienna's happy aren't you you happy good we're going to the new one the bob's mummy yeah um, so we're just about to pull into Charging now. Right, quick update. We're plugged in now at ten percent. 
and it's saying an hour and 10 minutes to 80% and at the moment we're pulling 37 kilowatts. So we'll sit here, have a bit of food, have some breakfast and then on to the next bit. It's now currently nine o'clock in the morning. So we're making good time for once. So see you all again soon. Right then, so that's us on our way again now. I've got 188 miles left on range and we're gonna stop at Penrith, which is 86 miles away and grab a charge there as well to see if uh, I can get a charge off the Ecotricity chargers with it being above or around about 50%. The car shouldn't ask for the full amount, so therefore I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get the charge and ecotricity and then it's just a one more stint of 170 miles and the car will do that no problems so that should be a nice easy journey then see you at uh, Penrith then Right then, that's me pulled into the Reg Centre at uh, Penrith. So this is my second stop and the last one. I've got 170 miles left to go. I've already got 100 miles left of range. I tried to stop and see the theory of the Ecotricity charges. If I'm around 50%, they kind of do work apparently. Uh, and yes, it's true. Um, I'm now charging on a Ecotricity charger for the first time since I've had the Kona and wait for it. It's also on free vents, so I'm still not giving out to Dale Vince. Um, it's not particularly quick though, it's pulling 38 kilowatts, but it is what it is. Uh, it says I need an hour to get to 90%, I'm at 44%. So that's lunchtime for me, and then I will drive through to Lincoln. That'll be the last, this will be the last stop now. Okay, that was an half pick fail. When I say it charges, it charges for five minutes, then cuts out. Then you have to go restart the machine and then it will charge for another five minutes and cut out. I'm now in the time I've been here now, which is 20 minutes, I've gone up 10% because I have to keep getting out the car, going to the machine and restarting it. This is not working ecotricity. Either fix your network or sell it. Because you are holding back people buying electric cars. All the new electric cars, the Nero, the Kona, the i3, the Ionic, you've got Volkswagen Golf, the Up, the Jag I-Pace, the new Model 3's coming with CCS, and guess what network doesn't work with CCS? Ta-da! So fix it or sell it. Do something. Rant over. Right then, an update on the mileage though. We've now covered 298 miles out of the 460 we need to. Uh, so I just need 160 to go. Uh, I'm gonna charge to, I've got 184 at the moment. I'm going to charge it to 80%, maybe a little bit more, just to, just to be doubly safe as we're going over the A66. Uh, it's charging at 25 kilowatts. So hopefully now that should be the end of it tripping out. It's not, not pulling enough to, to want to trip. Um, and yeah, that'll be it. All the way to Lincoln. And I tell you what now, I've tried these Ecotricity chargers on many different ways, uh, how people said that you can work them with the Kona. Honestly, 
Never again will I bother. Never again. It's taken an extra 20 minutes to charge it than what it said originally on the time because I've had to get out every five minutes maximum. Sometimes it's been two or three minutes just to push restart and then it'll charge again. Um, if it cuts out now, then I'll just go. I've got roughly enough. I might need to stop again though. So just trying to make sure we don't. Uh, next time I talk to you then, we will be in Lincoln. See you in a bit. That's us in Lincoln finally. So overall it's not been a bad journey. We've averaged 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour and the drive time is nine hours and two minutes and we've had two hours of charging. So all in all, 11 hours all together. Uh, the time is now uh, just gone four, well, uh, quarter past four, sorry. Um, so yeah, all in all, it's been a fairly smooth drive. The temperature in Lincoln is two degrees and it did start to get a bit warmer as soon as I got over the A66. Um, and yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time. Bye from the waving hand and the dogs.
no fire hydrant.